sandwich. Hey you, so today I thought we would talk about one of my biggest fantasies. No, not that kind of fantasy. Like most people, I often lie awake at night thinking about all the stuff I would do differently if given the opportunity. I probably make it seem like I regret everything I've ever done in my life, but really the apologizing and self-criticism you've seen from me over the past couple years has just been a big part of me trying to get my life on a better path, but still, Sorry about all that, it's been wild. Now when I talk about imagining the things I would do differently, I mean I straight up obsess over the idea of my mind being transported back in time and into the body of my younger self, because it's important to have a hobby, you know? But what would I do differently? Well, I'll say right now that I wouldn't try to alter the course of history as a whole, no trying to prevent 9-11 from this guy. Sorry. For one thing, I wouldn't want to be responsible for all the things that happened differently afterwards. And also, I feel like the American government probably wouldn't take the warning of an 11 year old British boy very seriously, or at least until after the attacks, at which point they'd probably be very interested to know how I... Anyway, the first thing I'd make sure of is that I never developed a dependency on food, because while I am all for body positivity, it doesn't change the fact that I hate being overweight and feel like my insecurities have put a dampener on a lot of my life. But it's not just about eating less when I was younger, I'd also need to learn how to cook properly and generally be more active. If there is someone in your house that knows how to cook, do not pass up the opportunity to learn from them. All I know how to do is make a lot of rice. Just, it's always too much. It's a lot of rice. Secondly, I would learn how to fight. Not so that I could be in more fights, but I grew up so scared of being a victim that I missed out on a lot of living. I think if I knew how to throw or even take a punch, I wouldn't have been so scared of everything and everyone. Third, I wouldn't have stood for all the bullying. At the time, I felt like these nasty little wasters had so much power over me, when in reality, all they had was cruel words and an opinion I chose to care about. Also, I wish I hadn't been so relieved at the times that I wasn't the victim that I just stood by and let someone else get bullied instead. It still makes me feel like a coward to this day. Fourth, I wish I hadn't been so astoundingly ignorant and impressionable. One of the reasons I feel like I have so much to apologize for and be ashamed about is because I grew up soaking up every single shitty opinion I could find and then acting on them. I've said so much uncool stuff to so many people. Just. Stupid little asshole kid. The fifth thing I'd make sure of is that I didn't delay all of my projects and ideas. I can't count the number of times I didn't do anything because I felt so threatened by the journey ahead, only to look back years later and say, damn, if I'd only started back then, I would be so much further than I am now. As the great prophet Shia LaBeouf once said, don't let your dreams be dreams. Sixth, I would say no a lot more. I would walk away from the shitty people and situations in my life. One thing I've learned is that my gut instinct was almost always right and I wound up in so many crappy situations by ignoring it. So much time and energy wasted on broken people and pointless endeavors. Finally, the seventh thing I would do is cherish the time I had with the people who really mattered because nothing lasts forever and eventually we all run out of time. Friendships end, people drift away, and sometimes they even die. And when that happens, there's nothing you can do to fix it. It's over. So stop wasting your time on time wasters and start realizing what's real. Because we only get one shot at life, and once it's over, there's no second chances. And water is wet. So the question I have for you is, what would you change? Or more importantly, 5, 10, 20 years from now, when you look back at yourself at this moment, what will you be wishing you'd done differently? Tom Scott, out.